Alright, so I might have came across something very traumatic, but yet soothing at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. So I was scrolling on YouTube, and I came across this page, Jar's Drawings, and looked at one of his videos that caught my attention, and it had to do with Elmo. And just by looking at this thumbnail, I was like, bro, what the heck? So here we are right now, let's go ahead and react to Elongated Elmo Domain Lord. Alright, here we go. Get ready to what get began as a simple game of hide and seek had taken an inexplicable turn. Mm. One moment the two brothers were running through their home. Turning a corner, their next footsteps never made purchase on the wooden floor. Oh, what? They were suddenly tumbling through the air, then landed on unfamiliar ground. Wait, so did they like they uh, found themselves no in a bright, maze-like place. A distant, high-pitched voice sang a lonesome tune which echoed against the wine of fluorescent light. Though no uncanny, the notes rang familiar. A song from Saturday morning television. The brothers followed the sound, hoping oh, to find their way Dorothy? back to their living room. I see the fish boat, but there's no Dorothy. They wandered winding halls until the tune drew near, then turned one final corner only to abruptly stop. <laughs> what? What the? Before them sprawled a writhing red mass, a lengthy oh. creature that extended into the distance with rows of arms straining to support its matted fur body. Dude, it's like a centipede. Ripped fingers frantically oh, scribbled on the ground, and a hollow mouth set beneath wide eyes sang the melody the boys knew so dear. The creature paused its song and gazed curiously at the unexpected arrivals. Bro, he had been isolated in this domain for far too long, until now. Before him stood two new friends, lost and alone, feelings he knew all too well. But the boy's longing for home was eclipsed by the creature's craving for companionship. His yeah, mouth fell into terrifying. a smile at his decision, knowing the brothers would never be lonely in their new home. They would love his goldfish, his crayons too. <laughs> He reached out a bony hand as he warmly proclaimed, Take my hand. Welcome to Elmo's world. Dude, that is wicked. That looks pretty... He reached out a bony hand as he warmly proclaimed, Welcome to Elmo's world. Yo. Alright, so what okay, so let's 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 see what's going on in this. So the kids were at home, they were playing, then they like suddenly no clip into what I'm assuming is like some world that is similar to the back rooms or some other dimension where the centipede Elmo was trapped and who knows how long he's been trapped there. As you can see, but he has become a terrifying looking monster. All right, let's move on to part two, elongated Elmo escape. All right, so does he actually escape or what? Or maybe the kids escape? I don't know, I guess we shall see. Welcome to Elmo's world, Elmo proudly proclaimed to his new friends. Their faces them, were clouded he? with confusion and uncertainty when tears began to well in the younger brother's eyes as he softly cried for Mama. Yeah, I'd be crying Papa. too, bro. I'd probably cry. Staring at the boys triggered unexpected memories, stirring a deep melancholy Elmo had long suppressed. It was faint. Oh, Elmo's parents. There was fondness. Whatever did then, happen to Elmo's parents? It left him longing. Oh, poor little Elmo baby. Elmo was hit with a surge of empathy as he gazed upon the boys below. He gently offered a hand towards them. Oh. Elmo will show you the way, he assured. But Elmo must stay. He grasped arms and Why elbows to create a ladder of limbs leading to his back, and the boys climbed on. Thus they began their ascent. Right, Elmo's so was he elongated good or bad? torso coiled upon itself, reaching higher and higher. The boys trudged through the tangle of red fur, each step up, 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 
motivated by a hope that they were moving closer to home. Elmo slightly slumped as he observed the boys vanish into the distant fog above, the feeling of their footsteps and brief friendship still lingering. Aww. Elmo's heart felt heavy yet oddly full as he mused to himself, thinking of the brothers and their parents. What a sad, unfortunate burden to have someone worth missing. Yeah. And now, Elmo would have that too. Oh, poor Elmo. Now he's stranded there alone. I mean, as he, as he was already, but... You know, he made friends for a couple seconds. Or days, or who knows how long they were trapped in there. And he's sad to see them go. Alright, so I wonder if that actually leads him back to, like... Where to Earth or wherever they came from. <laughs> okay, so what I don't understand is is this Elmo supposed to be like is he good or bad? Because he did have a flashback seeing the little kids like missing their parents and whatever. It reminded him when he was a baby with his parents. So maybe if it wasn't for that flashback, he he might have ate them. I don't know, man, but just assuming from how he looks, you know, because he is a terrifying looking centipede monster looking thing well shout out to jars drawing um i can't wait to see what happens if there's another third part to this and long get a uh, elmo series and yeah um, i'll link the videos down in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves and thank y'all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one